In this video, we're going to be talking about what is good, what sucks, and how seasons in Destiny 2 can improve. We're going to talk about artifact mods, we're going to talk about activities like the sundial, the story missions, we're going to talk about the battle pass, uh, we're going to talk about trials slash crucible, we're going to talk about weapons and armor. I'm going to give all of my thoughts and ideas on how this could be better and you might even mistake this for a dado video just kidding first of all we should probably talk about some things that have been good also really quick if you have any thoughts on seasons and what you what you like what you didn't like leave them in the comments below i want to see i want to know what do i think is good power the artifact being a way to gain power each season by doing whatever you want, though currently bounties um, kind of weigh more into that than actual activities, it still is very cool that you can basically do whatever you want in the game and you can gain power from it. Very cool. I feel like this really is um, probably the best thing that they've done. In, in a long time it, overall it felt really kind of I don't know annoying having to gain 50 levels or a hundred levels every every season and all like having to infuse a million pieces of gear and it, it, this is just s such a better model for power gain is the artifact it also is easier seeing that power disappear each season it doesn't feel bad to me when that power disappears the other thing is it's a general power across all of your characters which feels really good too you don't have to power it up for each one individually if they could find a way to make um, the experience gained greater for activities that take longer to complete or have it vary based on how long it's taking to complete that activity for somebody that would be great because it feels really bad when you play a master nightfall and maybe you're getting pooped on or you're getting unlucky and it takes like 10 minutes longer uh, than your other runs but you're not benefiting from it taking like that's not 10 minutes extra of experience that's just 10 minutes lost as far as leveling up your artifact is and so if there was a way for them to figure out how to scale that but also to make it so that they're like able to know that the person is actually trying the person is actually playing that activity they're not just going into a master nightfall going afk for several hours and then just finishing the nightfall out you know um there's a balance in there somewhere i think that can be found uh the story for season of the dawn has been great i'm uh, i know it's not completed yet but i mean the missions and the dialogue have all been good i feel like this has really been really good it's like way better than um season of the undying but seriously still in my opinion really great um i feel like the new mods for armor this season seem pretty cool i'm not talking about artifact mods here necessarily but i'm talking about um the other mods the getting charged with light type mods. I think they're cool, but I feel like um, Bungie kind of played it a little bit safe with them right now. Um, and, and it seems like these mods might potentially kind of grow in usability over the next season. Um, it seems like there might be um, similar mods that might be able to charge us or use charges of light in the next seasons as well but maybe you'll only be able to do certain combos if you already have some of the armor sets from this season we'll see how that works down the line I don't know but I think they're good so far next let's talk about maybe some of the bad things or just some of the other things okay so season rank rewards there are too many rewards that don't feel like rewards they're they're not meaningful legendary shards and glimmer they don't feel like rewards nobody is excited to get online tonight to bust out their next rank because they're gonna get 16,000 glimmer like nobody nobody thinks that and oftentimes what might happen is They'll be like, oh, I ranked up. What, what did I get? And they're going to go look and they're going to be like, oh, Glimmer. 
Like basically every single person thinks that. Just because other games put loading screens or stickers or sprays in their rewards doesn't mean Destiny 2 needs pointless rewards in its pass as well. Even Luke Smith said that they wanted the rank rewards to be something a casual player could achieve by just playing like an hour one night and they got something meaningful. But nobody is excited to get most of the things in the pass. Speaking of other games, battle passes and whatnot, um, they have their real world currency equivalent included in the battle pass. Apex, Fortnite, these other games, they have silver inside the pass, but we don't even have silver in the pass. We have bright dust, but even the bright dust we do have in the pass is minimal. I don't necessarily think that we need to have silver in the pass, but we definitely should have a lot more bright dust in the pass. When you think of how before Shadowkeep, you would get a bright engram every level up, and if you got a duplicate, you could just dust that for bright dust. Um, this pass doesn't get anywhere near the same galaxy as that. Like, I understand the game is free now, and they need to make money, um, but I don't think that Bright Dust Rewards um, are going to stop people who buy silver from buying silver. Those people are still going to buy silver, even if Bungie gave us like 3,000 more Bright Dust in the past. And like, that's, that's not even like insane. I don't even feel like that's insane. Also, speaking of dismantling items that you get out of Bright Engrams, is there no way for Bungie to code it so that when you dismantle an item that you got out of a Bright Engram, it gives you Bright Dust, but if you reacquire that same item from collections, it instead is just Legendary Shards and Glimmer? Like, I feel like there is a way to do that. I don't know how much effort that takes on Bungie's side, but... I feel like that is something that they could do, which would help a lot, especially since there isn't duplicate protection on the Bright Engrams. Oh, and you know those rewards in the Season Pass that uh, increase the Masterwork level of Seasonal Gear? Yeah, that stuff is pointless. Most of the gear doesn't roll with high enough stats for you to benefit from the maybe two shards and a few glimmer that you put in to go up one of those masterwork levels and you won't even get more materials from dismantling them most of the time so those i feel like really aren't doing anything the planetary material packages i feel like could be part of the free track especially because i feel like those are things that new players and potentially like free players could really benefit from i don't feel like those are things typically um, players who are buying the passes are necessarily going to benefit a ton from because they probably already have a bunch of materials. I mean, th sure, they're cool. I think they are a cool thing, but I think they could be on the free track. I think that would be an improvement. I, r I literally think that Bungie could give us a legendary engram at every rank up and it, it wouldn't break the game. It, it wouldn't even feel like too much more rewarding like I'm, I'm meaning in addition i'm not like saying replace them but i mean like if we also got a random legendary on every level up like that would at least feel a little bit better like that like that would be pretty cool i think at least you would know when you got this level up you potentially could have a cool chance at a old fashion or a last hope or some other world drop weapon instead of just ah dang 25 legendary shards cool uh, they could implement a, a re-roll consumable that uh, maybe works on individual perks, uh, maybe works on armor affinity and stats in some way. I don't know what they would have to implement UI-wise, but I, I think if it just implement is, I feel like if it's just implemented on weapons, it shouldn't be too hard. You should be able to just like scroll over the perk and then it should say like you know use this consumable to re-roll and that wouldn't require too much ui work and i don't think would actually be very complicated so i mean that would be a cool item to get in our battle pass bungie what about a 
permanent vault boost. That would be cool. I mean, you could put it as a part of the free track or the paid track, but I'm, I think it would be a cool way. Like, if you had it in the paid track, I, I think it'd be worth it. I feel, I feel like a decent amount of people would be stoked on that alone. They'd be like, oh, dang, I get like, you know, maybe it's only 25 or something. 25 more slots for my stuff? Like, that is sick. That'd be so sick. I feel like every season pass should have an exotic sparrow, an exotic ghost. I don't even know. Maybe even an exotic transmat effect. Uh, multiple shaders, an exotic ship, uh, multiple emotes. Um, you know, maybe more than there are in here, maybe like four emotes. Um, I felt like they could potentially even have there be two finishers instead of just one. If every rank up gave a seasonal weapon or armor engram in addition to the silly stuff that they have right now, I feel like that would be much better too. That would be pretty cool. They could even have some tiers be a bundle of engrams, like three or five, just like boom a set of armor like seasonal armor that would be sick even it like maybe they could do those things like after tier 100 like still get a legendary every tier that would be cool all right so now let's talk about the artifact this isn't going to be too long i think but all right now let's talk about the artifact the artifact mods need to be able to be placed on exotic primary weapons or at least special ammo weapons. They need to be placed on more than just what they are now. I also feel like um, just swapping them out each season for like, oh, these can be on just these couple weapons. Oh, these can be on just these couple weapons. Like some of them, they can condense them down if they want. They put on the anti berry run for the season, they let it be for pulse rifles, bows, and scouts. Why isn't the unstoppable mod the same thing? Why does the unstoppable mod have to be three separate mods? I feel like that's a little bit lazy. I mean, I, I mean, I don't want to say lazy because that's like a little bit rude and I'm sure a little bit ignorant because I don't work at Bungie. I don't know everything that they have to do to create these things, but I f it definitely feels lame. It definitely feels lame having it that way. Also, if the artifact mods each season are basically going to be the same format where, okay, there's a couple, there's a certain enemy type that you can basically just uh, get glimmer, get gunsmith materials and stuff from, like we're going to have mods that do that. And oh, here's just another couple of weapons that you get some enhanced loader mods or enhanced unflinching mods. And oh, and here's your anti-barrier and unstoppable weapons for the season. Like if, if that's basically what most of the mods are going to be, that's pretty lame. And I feel like um, that can definitely be improved upon. Like, sure, it's cool to, you know, have more of an incentive or reason to use some other weapons over some others, but having the same different reason each season is, I don't know, feels a little bit lame. While gear in general can be a whole different video and discussion um, that I, I will make, uh, I had to mention it here since I'm talking about the seasons. We have so many new weapons in the game right now, and while the new perks this season are a good addition, um, I feel like this season they gave us too many weapons. Now, I know this is going to sound weird, and, uh, and they probably did this to compensate for the lame offering of the four weapons from last season, but still, we, we didn't need this many new weapons each season especially with the new year one random roll weapons that they gave us this season two and bungie has been starting to give us some some new perks which is cool and i have a ton of ideas already written down for new perks and combos but i feel like with future weapons they really need to consider specific combinations of perks instead of just giving us some new perks or, you know, just making another SMG or hand cannon that basically does and has the same stuff as three other ones we already have. Like, I feel like they really need to create some unique perks, maybe some more perks that change more of how we play, like how Demolitionist allows you to like throw your grenade to reload and it also gives you grenade energy. I feel like that's a really great perk that changes the way you play. And I feel like we need more stuff that does things like that 
and we also need to think of new combinations of some maybe currently existing perks all right now let's talk about the seasonal activity and this is going to be a pretty big one let me know your thoughts once again this is just a discussion i'm just putting my thoughts out there my observations and i would like to hear some of yours as well i don't think that every seasonal activity needs to be a six player activity i feel like it could be a four player or a th three player or maybe have different selectable fire team sizes too depending on how that seasonal activity is made they could even be different things they don't necessarily need to be in the format they are now like imagine this imagine in season of the undying instead of the vex offensive being um you basically going to the garden and um doing that same loop in that same area over and over again it could have been more like this the vex offensive could have instead launched you to one of the destinations we already have and fought back the invasions there and that there could be a lot of variance in that type of activity you know you're on mars or you're on nessus or you're on io or you're on earth you're you could be in all sorts of different places that would have been i don't know more a much better feeling activity because of the variance there one of the things that worries me a bit about destiny becoming a live game and i i mean technically it is a live game now but is i'm worried about them putting too much effort into creating something that is going away after just one season there are so many areas in this game that are beautiful and they are massively underused and i feel like if bungie can find ways to fit it into the season where they can use these different areas first of all wow we would get to see some of these other really beautiful areas in this game um but also it would be a feel like a different experience because we haven't really been there or maybe we're, we'll be like oh dang you know what? i remember this from that one mission like a long time ago like that's so cool i also feel like that would just be so much better for the team and for this game's future and in Luke Smith's Director's Cut Part 3, he mentions that Destiny 2 cannot infinitely grow and have more and more activities. But that's still what they're doing. They're creating more and more activities. And while they are going away every season, um, I just feel like they're maybe spending too much time making entirely new areas and assets when they could be using these other assets that are already in the game and maybe just adding a few small assets to create an encounter inside of the areas that we already have and maybe that's exactly what they did with the sundial maybe they had some of these areas basically already made and they're like what if we kind of just merge them together put them in this different area like that could possibly be what they did but anyways you get the point Another idea I have is like, can, can we please get some activities where the enemy is trying to do something to us and we have to defend and use defensive mechanics to stop them? I feel like too many things are trying to get us to do something and then the enemies have, are, are using defensive mechanics and we have to stop them. A, a switch up in this area would be pretty nice. Like, think of the escalation protocol boss where uh, the Thrall tried to like just beeline it straight for the boss and blow up on the boss to heal the boss like we have to try to you know focus these certain enemies in order so that the boss doesn't keep getting infinitely healed like I feel like encounters like that are really cool and we could use a little bit more variety in that area not just grab this ball put it over here and that makes you pass the encounter all right for season of the dawn what did they do in the crucible they gave us a map and i guess technically uh 3v3 elimination is a true mode now it's not in the crucible lab section it has triumphs and stuff attached to it okay that's something but crucible needs new modes and new gear every season even if it's just one weapon and I'm not talking about like a ritual weapon I'm talking about a weapon with random rolls I feel like that's like the least they could do for crucible I mean in crucible there's a lot of things we're gonna need I mean even seasonally um, you know ascendant shards enhancement prisms uh, I, I have enough stuff 
for Crucible to make a whole video on it, and I'm gonna have a whole video for that if if I if I'm releasing it here at the same time, um, there will be a link for it below. Um, but there, yeah, there's there's a lot. Those are my thoughts so far on seasons. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, please. I'm serious. I know everybody says that. Um, but I, I genuinely care. Um, I've got some other really great videos that I'm working on and that I've got released. Um, I'd appreciate it if you check them out. Um, or if you want to check out my streams, I, I live stream on Twitch almost every day. And I've got, you know, some other, some other YouTube videos here. So if any of this stuff is cool to you, you know what you can do about it. I don't got to tell you. Um, but thanks for being here. Thanks for finding this video and clicking on it, even though I've only got like 200 subscribers and this video probably has like 10 views. I appreciate it. Like, you're seriously awesome. You're making my day. It's insane.